Hi everyone. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to apply colors in CSS. All right. So first inside our HTML, we are going to create a section. Within the section, I'm going to provide an H1, which is the title. And I'm going to call it Python Boot Camp. And then I'm going to provide a paragraph that is going to say you will learn uh, Python from beginner beginner to expert expert let's save our changes we see our changes right here now we have four different colors color values in css we have hexadecimal we have hsl we have color name and then we have rgb we're going to go through all four of them one by one so a hexadecimal color uh, is going to look something like this so i'm going to select the body the body element which is everything so inside the body we have all the other elements so when i say body it is this element so all of the content of our website is contained within the body so when we select the body and when we apply some style it is going to be applied consistently throughout our website so if i say background color so this is the first way you can provide background color and uh, when you select it now a hexadecimal is going to start from a hash then six numbers so it is going to start from six zeros to six f's anything between this range is viable so i'm going to say four b seven seven eight d and if i save this you can see that the uh background color of our website just changed so now you can see how css is involved with styling our web pages i did give you uh that color hex if you want to if you want to find out more uh color like color combinations better color ideas you can just visit that website there is a lot of colors and there are like a ton of other online resources that you can go to one is color hunt the other one is webcol.colhue for um, uh, uh, gradients there is like a ton of websites that you can go to to grab color ideas now hsl stands for hue saturation and lightness you apply this by let's just select the section so you need to have like a reference point to apply these styles on the selection is going to give you that reference point so what do you want this style to be applied on if you just casually throw it inside your css you can see that you are going to get an error it says the first one is do not use i'm just going to uh, comment that one out and comment this part out as well and it says expected something this has to be within something so you need to keep that in mind that you cannot like casually throw your uh css declarations in your css file they have to have a reference point so for a section i'm going to say background color uh hsl so the first one is hue hue is going to be 180 h h and uh, the s saturation and lightness they're in percentage so i'm going to say 64 percent and how, how much lightness 43 percent let's save that there we go so you can see the color is different then the color name is something we have taken a look at before and that is when you say color so background color is going to change the background color of any element color is going to change the color of the content so in this case the content is this text this text it is going to change that so if you just write white you can see that this is a color name if you want to find out what are the color names when you write color it is going to give you like a pop-up just click on it and then you're going to get all these different color names you can see that these are all available so i'm just going to say white save it and now you can see this is white and eventually for rgb rgb stands for red green blue and let's say we want to change the value the color of the paragraph as well let's change it to uh, white so rgb's um, re um range is let me just create that rgb so we have red green and blue each one of these is going to be represented by a number starting from zero ending at 255 so if you say zero 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 you're going to end up with a black color completely dark so that is going to be black there we go so you can see it 
the this VS Code is very cool. It is going to give you like a little representation of how it looks like. This is completely dark, 0, 0, 0, but 255, 255, 255 is going to be completely white. There we go. You can switch between colors as well. So if you come here, you're going to see this color palette. It says sets the color of an element's text. It is exactly what it is exactly what it says. And if you come here and it says six, sets the background color of an element. So these are very self-explanatory. If you just come here, if you, if you click on this, you can convert it to RGB. You can convert it to hexadecimal or you can leave it at that. You can change the color here as well. So you can see that you can basically you have this uh, gauge that you can go to different colors. Let's say you like this color. You're going to get the preview here. So here is the preview. Here is the previous color that you had. So if you come here now, the, if you save it, this is what you're going to get. I'm going to zoom back. I'm going to control Z. There we go. So we are there. So you can change this one to an RGB, uh, HSL, RGB, or hexadecimal, anything that you want. So you can switch between these as well as you have declared them. Now, uh, just something that you need to keep in mind that whenever you're creating a website, make sure to use all different types because uh, all, all of them are important to know and it allows your code to be like um, diverse. That's it for this lecture. See you in the next one.